1994. I was six years old. How old were you? It don't even matter. In 1994, I think No Limit dropped like three albums in 94, if I'm not mistaken. I know they dropped two albums for sure. I want to say uh, they did a true album in 1994 as well. Not quite sure. I'll get back to y'all on that one on a later episode. This review, uh, West Coast Bad Boys, 1994. I'm from Oakland, California, so of course you know I had to do the West Coast Bad Boys. Of course I had to get the West Coast Bad Boys albums. Um, I got the heart of somebody from the South as far as, I'm not going to say swag, but I'm going to say my demeanor and stuff like that. A lot of people think I'm from uh, down South. My pops from the, was born in. Louisiana. My family's down in Louisiana. Most of my family. And um but I'm a Bay Area kid. I'm from Oakland, California. You know what I mean? But uh that's why I feel like it's under the little connection with no limit and myself. P started in the South, went to the West, got established, and then brought it back to the South. Y'all uh, y'all already know that. Y'all should know that. Anyway, West Coast Bad Boys, man, nineteen ninety four. They did two albums. The first one, let me double check. The first West Coast Bad Boys, another level of the game uh, collaboration, was released August 9th, 1994. The second album, that's the one I want to talk about, though. High for Christmas. 11 tracks. This is a fun album to have. It's rare, but as far as the music goes, it's fun. Like, it's funny. When I say fun, it's uh, like, dang, I can't believe he did that. Or he would rap over that beat. You know what I mean? Um, some uh, catch you'll find in the insert down here at uh, uh, Product Management by St. Charles. St. Charles is actually E-40s uncle who was in the gospel industry st charles also engineered i believe some of this music as well and um you'll find a strong connection in the bay area with gospel rappers and secular artists so for st charles to support his nephew e40 you know back then and even now and even work with cats like a master p back then in the bay area st charles is like a legend in the bay um so that's a strong connection. Um, you got Silk the Shocker, Masterpiece, C Murder, and I believe the one in the middle standing up with the shirt off is uh, Big Ed. I'm not quite sure. So if anybody knows better than me, please uh, let me know. Leave a comment and, let me, and tell us who the guy in the middle standing up is. Um, I'm assuming it's Big Ed because Big Ed been around for so long with No Limit. But it could be San Quinn. Um, it, uh, it's not, I don't think it's rapping Fote. But that's that. This album, out of 10 stars, since given a quality and a production for that era, you kind of got, you have to have a different mindset when listening to old school music, especially old school rap music. The beats are all kind of the same. But. You know what I mean? Anyway, this for me is definitely a 7. 7 out of 10. Um, rare album. Very, very rare. A lot of people do actually have like West Coast Bad Boys Part 2. And a lot of people don't have the second West Coast Bad Boys album to release, which is actually this one. Not West Coast Bad Boys 2. 7 out of 10. Go on Amazon. eBay. CDBaby.com. Go get this one. It's a fun, fun album. You get to hear a young Master P, a young Silk, a young C Murder, San Quinn, who's also a Bay Area legend. Um, what's it? Uh, GLP, um, King George on there. Of course, King George, right? We're going to get into this track real quick from the West Coast Bad Boys. Simply Dre. Simply Dre. Uh, I've actually done music with Simply Dre when I used to do gospel rap. Simply Dre has done a lot of work with P, 
He's on this album, and he's on 99 Ways to Die. And uh, we're going to get into the end of this um, High for Christmas track. And uh, Simply Dre, you'll hear him singing in the end. So... Check out the next review. Leave comments below. 7 out of 10 stars. West Coast Bad Boys. High for Christmas. <laughs> 